So you'd say that front door is on fire, <laughs> wouldn't you? Oh, yeah. What are you saying, Bill? All right. There it is. I mean, 100% you'd say that front door is on fire. And you look at it, you can't tell. All right. I mean, it just shows the importance of sizing it up with the three, like that thermal camera. Man, it's beautiful. Let the camera do its job as you do that walk around. Yep. So, I, just on this, you can identify real quick. Huh. Wow. We've got these signatures trapped up on that second floor bedroom. Yep. But it's it's showing where the bulk of our heat is, is down low. On the first floor. Well, you can tell where the traveling path is because you can you, see, you can, you can, you can, you can see, see the hallway in the center very and the way it's lit. Yep. Now, is there a difference on the front view? Yeah. Compared yeah, there to the. Is. Yeah. It's, it's, huh. <laughs> I feel like it's more defined up here. Is it more defined? So, just by looking at the back of this and those windows, I can see where the path is taken. Look at the, the heat has come up, up, up the surface. Mm -hmm. So, that window is cold, that window is hot, yep. that window is cold, cold. But you can see the path is hooked the from the outside. Mm -hmm. So if you were the first on scene, you so did the 360. At this angle, I, I know I had fire from the lowest level over here. It came through, went up the center, and I can see that it came over here just by my colors. Or my light to dark. Huh. You know exactly where to take that I knew the line. exact... Come over. Look through the eyes of the camera. Big difference for the size up back here nothing and we come to the sky we tell exactly where the fire's been where it's at and where it's going go into this room you're doing a search what do you do to that room what do you do close the door. the door right get in there and close that door watch watch what happens when i close the door watch through the eyes of the camera watch this you can tell i closed it right yeah. okay now watch when i open it up here we go we're going to open it up i open it and you should probably see the convection carts coming across. You see it? We should be good. All right. So open up the second floor. All right. Now open up that. Wow. Now that should travel all the way down to that staircase. There it goes. There it is. And there's ignition all the way across. Ooh. See that staircase though, how fast yeah. everything's traveling upstairs. Well, look at the, look at, look at her level of smoke and then imagine her on that second floor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you know, that's the importance of and closing about, the door. Right. But think about your, your victim and the survivability. Well, and also Scott, the importance of closing that door oh, when you go into that room, Absolutely. you know, I'm so you guys saying, can really highlight that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Especially when you start introducing coolant and your flow path, you've got control of the fire at, all, at any stage of the game. Now, Cass, here's my question. I've worked on this for a while. I was excited to show it to you. What are your thoughts on the Max Firebox Phase 2? I mean, it is, it is incredible training tool. It, it is amazing that we can stand here and show fire behavior like this in a controlled environment but learn every aspect that we need to understand from, from, from fire in, in, in front of us. Truly, I mean, it's an, it's an amazing job that you've done. I, I appreciate you joining us here tonight. I mean, thank you. Thank you, thank, thank you, you, thank you. Me. Yes, thank you. So, um, you know, this is a, a highlight to be able to do this for well you. Well done. And...